Okay, we have foot traffic, passenger side. Sounds like she doesn't want any part of it. I walked into the motel just uh, north of our car. Looks like he's coming back. Okay, we have foot traffic, passenger side. Walked over, kicked the passenger door shut, walked west. Yeah, they kicked the door shut, talking to somebody else, and he's taking his shirt off. Now they're exchanging wardrobe and hats. I honestly could say that I've never seen a suspect swap clothes before he steals a car. It's usually when they're running from us, they want to take a jacket off, throw the hat in the bushes, so they look a little different when they try to sneak by us. And it is two males and one female. And it looks like they might be going eastbound back towards our car. Slowly moving east. And now, the guy who gave up his shirt makes a move. Males in the driver's seat. And the car is away, westbound. Please be advised, bait car is away, westbound on Artesia. Westbound Artesia. 10 4. Westbound. Somebody pick it up. Yeah, Mary Six has got it. Continuing westbound. For some reason, the suspect starts getting nervous. Maybe he's realizing it's going to take more than swapping shirts to stay away from the cops. in the rear view puts him over the top pull him to the curb pull him to the curb he wants out fast oh, put your hands up put your hands up get off get up get on your knees get on your knees turn around It's uh, code 4 on Ardmore, 10 15 with 1. Okay, 10 4. Damn, oh, man. To be honest with you, I tried to move this vehicle out of the way where I was staying at the motel. I, I parked the car around the corner because I didn't want to burn the spot where I was at at the motel because I, I am scouting. Oh, okay, so you're, you're, you know what I'm you're wanted right now? I'm scouting right now, bro. The suspect was a parolee at large. He was absconding, had not uh, reported to his parole officer. So he'll do some time on that. So I got a motel room right here with my girl. I'm staying there, I'm walking into the room. Man, I'm looking at this thing right in front of my room thinking, what the f This thing's got low jack or something, I just know it. And the cops are gonna be swarming any minute now. Me being the parolee, I went you know, to park it around the corner to get it away from my motel room. So I don't have to see you guys like this. What kind of priors do you have? I got a prior for stealing a car before. I got one for GTA and the other one for possession of a stolen vehicle. I did my time. I'm running on parole right now. I'm not trying to see you guys at all. Why haven't you reported? Because I'm, a, I'm just a up. You know what I mean? I didn't tell you I'm perfect. I'm an idiot, man. Who's your girlfriend? Lucy. We were hooking up my stepson. And we were all getting together and going to the motel room. Why'd you change clothes? We had each other wear the same shirt so it looked like just the same couple going in and out. Okay, so they'll charge you have extra the over there. Room. You got in the car. Because I wanted to be with my old lady without stressing on you guys being around the room, man. The old cop is going to go in your motel room for no reason whatsoever. You're, you know what? You're absolutely right. So would you do that again? Because if this happened, absolutely not. I just should not have touched it, period. All right, come on. With the suspect facing even more jail time, the team gives him one final moment with his girlfriend. I'm sorry, man. I told you. I'm sorry. Baby, I was just trying to move it. 
I'm not going to see you for about 10 years, okay? Because they're arresting me for stealing this car now. He wants us to feel sorry for him. I feel sorry more for the victims that he takes day by day. So it was very nice to take him off the street.